The universe is big. Very, very big. But how big is it? Let's start with the moon. Earth's only natural satellite. You may think that the moon is close. Actually, no. The distance between Earth and the moon is 384,400 kilometers away. Light takes around one second to reach the moon from Earth. And to Mars, it would take around 20 minutes. Mars and Earth are part of a planetary system which includes the Sun and six other planets. Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. An astronomical unit can be used to measure distances between planets in our solar system. One astronomical unit, or AU, measures 93 million miles, the distance between the Earth and Sun. The Sun is the star at the center of our solar system. 138 AUs from us lies Voyager 1. In 1990, the probe took this image of the Earth. As Sagan said, look at that dot. That's home. The solar system doesn't stop here. It stops at around a light year in diameter, in what's called the Oort Cloud. A light year is the distance light travels in a year. And now I continue the flight toward the nearest stars. Proxima Centauri, Alpha Centauri, and Sirius. Proxima Centauri is 4.5 light years from us. Even further out lies the Orion Arm, which is part of the Milky Way galaxy, 100,000 light years. There are hundreds of billions of stars inside our Milky Way galaxy. And the nearest major galaxy to us is Andromeda, 2.5 million light years away. The Milky Way, Andromeda, and many dwarf galaxies form the local group. It spans 10 million light years across. Beyond the local group is Laniakea, a supercluster. It spans over 500 million light years. And beyond Laniakea are other superclusters, which form galactic filaments, the biggest structures in the universe that we know of. And here we are at the observable universe, 93 billion light years in diameter. The observable universe contains around 2 trillion galaxies, there are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand in all the beaches in the Earth. It's time to return back into our Milky Way galaxy, back into our solar system, and finally, the Earth. Now, we're zooming in. Zooming into the boy's hand, you find that it is made up of millions and millions of cells. Actually, a hundred trillion cells. Cells are measured in a measurement called a micrometer. Smaller than a cell is a bacteria. And smaller than is a virus. And then, zooming inside the cell, there's deoxyribose nucleic acid, or DNA. The width of DNA is just 2 nanometers thick, but the length is very, very long. DNA is also known as the code of life. Zooming into the DNA, we find molecules, which are made up of even smaller parts, called atoms. Atoms are around 10 to the negative 10 meters wide, or also called an angstrom. Inside the atom is a quantum orbital of electrons with a tiny nucleus 
composed of protons and neutrons. The width of a proton is around a femtometer, or 10 to the negative 15 meters. Zooming in further, we find protons and neutrons are made up of even smaller parts, called quarks. Quarks are around 10 to the negative 19 meters wide, or 100 zeptometers, while electrons are around an atometer wide, or 10 to the negative 18. There's another particle called a neutrino. Its size is 10 to the negative 24 meters, or a yachtometer wide. Quarks, along with electrons and neutrinos, when zooming in, we see vibrating energies from strings, which are the size of a Planck length, or 10 to the negative 35 meters. Now, let's do a cosmic zoom to recap how small Earth is and how small the atom is.
Thank you.